The fish are biting in Port Lauderdale, you might say. The city tricked out of paying more than a million dollars for a bill they thought was for real. And Local 10's Roy Ramos live now with reaction from the mayor today. Roy. And when I spoke with the mayor, Calvin, he tells me that this scammer filled out all the necessary paperwork, even attached a blank check, all of which officials here at the city have seen before. But it's when accounts payable sent those funds, they quickly realized it was sent to the wrong person. A copy of a blank check on it indicating it was from Moss Construction. So it all looked very legitimate. But the request for $1.2 million was anything but. City of Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trentalis said it was all part of a phishing scam where someone posed as a representative of Moss Construction, the company now building the city's new police headquarters in order to swindle Fort Lauderdale out of more than a million dollars of taxpayer money. It was all exactly the way that we see it requests before was. Fortunately, it didn't take long for city manager Greg Chavarria to discover they'd just fallen victim to the crime, quickly sending this email to city officials informing them of what happened and that they were now working to get the money back and Fort Lauderdale police had been notified. Right now, we're hoping that we're going to be able to claw it back uh, since it was a wire transfer. But how does the city prevent a scam like this from happening again? I went to cybersecurity expert with Arc Solvers, Reginald Andre, who stressed the importance of consistent cybersecurity training. You want to make that a culture. You want to make it where every quarter someone's coming in and providing training and letting them know of what the latest threats are. As the city now tries to recover those funds, the mayor had this message to taxpayers concerned with just how safely the city's money is being handled. Clearly, we've got to come up with a better protocol in order to ensure this doesn't happen again. So we did reach out to Moss Construction to get their reaction, and they provided us with this statement that read in part, malicious actors took advantage of our good name and publicly available information to attempt a scam. This is a fraud case that is being actively investigated by the city of Fort Lauderdale officials and police. As for Fort Lauderdale police, they're now working to find out who was behind this scam. As soon as they do, they will likely be held accountable for their actions. For now, in the city of Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos. Local 10 News. Got to pay close attention to those phishing scams. Thank you, Roy.